Good morning everyone. So as you all know that we are completing the remaining lessons of English grammar and in today's video I shall explain you chapter 26. Topic of the chapter is idioms and phrasal verbs. So you all, all have done idioms and phrasal verbs under the extra work. Now it is related to the chapter only. So let's see what is idiomatic expressions. Idiom is also called muhavra in Hindi. What is it? Let's see. An idiom is a group of words whose meaning is different from that of the individual words. So, if you will see the literal meaning of the idiom, it will be different. But the real meaning of, a, of an idiom is different from the meaning of the literal word. So, example you can see to eat one's words. That means someone has to eat his words. But the real meaning of this idiom is to have to take back what was said earlier. So, if someone has said something, he has to take his words back. That time we can use the idiom to eat one's words. Example you can see, those who talk without thinking are often forced to eat their words. Next example is to read between the lines. And the real meaning of this idiom will be to look for or discover a hidden meaning. That means we have to discover a hidden meaning. Example will be, you should not take his words literally, try to read between the lines. That means you need to discover the meaning of his words. Now let's see what are phrasal verbs. So phrasal verbs are verbs which are used with an adverb or a preposition. That means phrasal verbs are always followed by adverb or a preposition. The phrasal verb may express a different meaning from that of the original verb. So like idiom also, phrasal verb may have expressed the different meaning of the original verb. Example you can see carry on but the real meaning of carry on will be here continue. Sentence will be you can carry on with the game until the sundown. That means till the sundown you can continue the game. Next example is look up. It means to become better. And the sentence will be with a lot of investors interested. My business is now starting to look up because of a lot of investors. Now my business is becoming better. Next example is carry out. That means complete a task. And the sentence will be the repairing of the house was carried out by the Builders. So that means the task of repairing the house was completed by the builders. That's why we have used here carried out. Next one is look into. It means investigate and the sentence will be he promised to look into the matter without further delay. That means he promised to investigate the matter without further delay. Here you can see that the form of the verb we can change according to the sentence like if present sentence is there so we will use the present form if the sentence will be of past the past form of the verb will be used so these are the idioms and phrases which i have explained you i hope everything is clear to all of you thank you everyone